Let me introduce you to the tools I use for drawing this. Um, this is a, a mechanical pencil. This is a Tombo Mono Eraser. And, and it's used for highlighting the dark shade. This is my pencil and brush and also my adjustable an adjustable eraser is for highlight also and my pencil I have four pencils here I use for drawing and a brush you can also use a watercolor pen brush and the normal eraser also some brushes will give you so step two will be making a sketch of the mouth the tooth and the lip so we have to get the proportion the right proportion when drawing this make sure to practice how to get the right proportion before you engage drawing this or you can also use scale lines i would advise you to use scale lines if you don't know how to get the proportion but for this tutorial i'm drawing uh, I'm with a free hand so I'm not engaging any scale I'm not using um, some tools to enhance my proportion I just draw with the pencil but I will advise beginners to use scale to scale out the pictures with the photograph so that you can be able to get the right proportion of the lip but here um, I'm drawing freely creating all the values I need and drawing out the outlines of the lip to enable me catch up with the proportion after we get that proportion we'll move on to step 3 let's add some pencil shade to our drawing already i've added some pencil shade don't worry if you're a beginner i will still show you how it's done in when i'm when i'm about to draw the properly but the easiest way to do this is to shade some graphite on the on the, on the portion you want to draw and to blend it to get a smooth effect uh, if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscription button and the on your notification button to get notified when i'm posting a new video so after doing this we will move on to draw the teeth and then most of you guys will love to see how it's done so we will say hey go from here how did you do that so you know this the time i will get you to see the magic behind it it's not really hard as you think it just you understand so now we do it is we move our brush in, in this area and use a tattoo one to to make a a dot line like this that one will create great little to dot lines to and use a brush to gently make this smooth one of the importance of using brushes are they make your graphite smooth on paper so we quickly pick up our and get the highlights of the teeth 
and use our two layers of finish shop. So we we dot tap this gently and erase the light part to make our teeth shiny, make it look realistic. So we detail some areas and also draw the edge of the teeth. Just the same way I'm doing it. Like I've said before, to get this shade, smooth shade, is to rub your graphite or score or use a pencil to shade it and use a brush to make it smooth. In my next video today, I would like to show you how I do shading to get smooth, smooth shades on paper. Alright, I'll quickly point the area I'm going to, I'll try to draw and, and dots to get a fine, tiny details of the triangle with a mechanical pencil. Just to make my work look more realistic and more, more sharp. But for beginners, I would like to advise you to to practice first, because you might not really get this um, same kind of work the same way I'm showing you where you might at least get similar something that looks a little bit similar to this right so so let's draw some tiny details to make our work look more shiny make the lip to glow because the mouth looks wet so by drawing shiny areas is easy to make it look real and more shiny and beautiful as well so we we'll continue to to go over it again you see one thing i discovered in drawing is that when you draw the first layer and you use your brush to go over it then you you use your pencil to draw on top on the on top of the sh um, shade that you that you worked on with your brush you tend to get a a realistic look somehow especially when you are drawing um, skin texture in doing this <laughs> There are so many tricks that you have to acquire through experience, not just picking up a pencil and scrapping something on the paper. <laughs> so I would like you to take note of that too. So we'll go over it again just in a moment to blend this area. You know, um, this dirty one, you can, you can call it the name, is a very powerful tool for drawing. So, we use a mechanical pencil to detail. All we are doing is to add some values to the lip to make it look more realistic by going over it again. If it's in um, painting, you have to do that to make it look realistic. You have to work on the first layer and work on the second layer. If you want to paint a portrait, but uh, it's not a painting, yeah, it's still the same kind of um, technique that you can still use to achieve that same effect on black and white drawing dice. Doing with and what pencils. 
so we are using our tattoo gun to highlight this area trying to make our drawing to look more realistic that is all we're doing <laughs> so if we dark this area also make this area dark highlight this part too in point some areas highlight them blend them and use our pencil to darken some kind of areas shape make it bump out make it make it come out you have to do this you have to make some areas more darker than in order to give more darker values to some particular areas to make it more realistic if you are to make this draw this in eye So we just quickly do this and move on to step four. Where I'll be showing you um, how to draw the skin texture out. We just add some skin texture to our drawing. But this night is a skin texture, but um, I will just do that first. But I know you you will still get some knowledge out of it but it's not necessarily a skin texture video Step 4 Let's add some texture to make to draw a realistic skin texture is not as hard as you think. I just need some little practice and the understanding. So in this video today, we we'll just quickly go over it. We we'll just use our blending stamp to to rub, no, rub it on our paper and, and use the graphite in your and the mouth of your blending stump to make some texture. Now remember this um, skin texture looks very light so we would like to draw in a faint manner we would not like to add some forced heat. <laughs> if you add much force you might not get the required test or you might get a darker value so we were making a very light value just the same way from doing it so when you're done with that you go over it with your with your needed eraser or just a little eraser is a remodelable eraser i've shown you uh, at the beginning of the video tutorial how malleable the eraser is and uh, use um, your table zero to draw the highlight also so use your pencil to go over it and over and over so that is how it's done so we just finish up but next thing video today i would like to show you how to draw different kind of skin texture and and that's it for today a realistic leap so see you next time thanks for watching